Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn about the trigonometric identity uh, uh, second, right? Uh, the second identity is sec square theta minus tan square theta equals to 1. So let's prove it or let's show it how we show it, right? So uh, let, let me draw first a right angle triangle over here, right? So suppose this is my right angle triangle, this is A, B and C this is theta angle right so since this is theta angle so the opposite uh, side this AB will be the perpendicular and the side in which the theta is seated that is BC will be the base and the longest part is always hypotenuse that is H okay so let's apply the Pythagoras theorem in this right angle triangle right this is a right angle so right angle triangle we'll get that H square is always equals to P square plus B square it means the square of the hypotenuse is always sum of the perpendicular square and the base squares right so hypotenuse in this triangle is AC square right AC square and P square that is AB square here perpendicular is AB square oh sorry this is AB square right and the base is BC that is BC square let's divide this whole by BC square I mean dividing by dividing by bc square okay we are dividing this whole relation by bc square so what 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 we get let's see ac square upon bc square is equals to ab square plus bc square divided by bc square it will be ab square upon bc square plus bc square upon bc square so this and this will cut right so now see AC upon AB okay, uh, I can write like this okay mm. AC upon BC whole square is equals to AB upon BC whole square plus 1 right so AC upon BC let's see here AC upon BC it means AC upon C here BC BC that is H upon B right or H upon B whole square is equals to AB upon AC see here AB upon BC right that is perpendicular upon base square plus 1 we know that tan theta is equals to perpendicular over base and sec theta is always equals to base over hypotenuse right so uh, we have to now apply this theorem uh, these, these, these uh, relationships so tan theta equals to p upon h and sec theta equals to b upon h oh, sorry sorry it's h upon b it's h upon b i'm sorry it's h upon b right so in the place of h upon b i can now write sec square theta is equals to perpendicular upon base that is tan square theta plus 1 right so sec square theta plus ta uh, equals to tan square plus uh, 1 right now let me arrange this sec square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 this is our required trigonometric identity right and if you solve this further uh, you may get like this uh, that sec square theta is 1 plus tan square theta and another tan square theta is equals to sec square theta minus 1 so these all relationships I mean these whole relationships are, relationships are very very important right and we'll be using lots of lots of time this is all so keep these uh, these all in mind okay it's really really important now in next video or in our next article if you're watching from my uh, website skyblogger.com so we'll be solving cos square a plus one is equals to cosec square a right so this is our third uh, trigonometric identity so watch this in another video bye bye